Good morning. Today is Friday, March 18th. I'm Jane King for the Street from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Well, the markets are quiet but positive this morning. Uh, we head into today, though, at the highs of the year. The Dow now positive for 2016, the first time this year. The Dow is up 11 percent from the bottom that is being called the Diamond Bottom. That's when J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon said he would be buying company stock. Now, markets pushed higher by the surge in crude, which hit highs it hasn't seen since December. And Tiffany's out this morning with earnings. Earnings did miss expectations, but revenue beat. And January management warned that holiday sales were anemic, falling 6% year over year to $961 million. And much of that was attributed to weak sales at home and in the Asia Pacific and to the strong U.S. dollar. Well, you may not think much of it when you toss in a few bucks to join your office's NCAA brackets pool, but all those bets add up fast. Americans will wager a record $9.2 billion on March Madness brackets this year, according to the American Gaming Association. It's more than double the $4.2 billion that people spent on sports gambling last year in Nevada, where it's legal. Okay, coming up today, lots of Fed speak. St. Louis Fed President James Bullard discusses the economy at the International Research Forum on Monetary Policy. New York Fed President William Dudley gives opening remarks at a conference at the bank. And March Michigan sentiment is released. That is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the National Stock market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for the street. Have a great day.